I'm Jerry Schneck, and I'm a member of St. John's Episcopal Church here in Mankato, Minnesota. Next week on Veterans Day, Armistice Day, as some of us refer to it still, we will be dedicating our World Peace Site and new peace poles here at the church. I've been asked to uh, present how we made some unique adjustments to uh, the typical peace poles that people have been planting around the world for the last 35 to 40 years. Our peace poles happen to rotate. As you can see, I'm going to uh, make an adjustment here to how close we get to the peace poles. As you can see, we have two peace poles. One is a shorter four foot peace pole and one is a taller seven foot peace pole. That we've used the standard white sleeves that are often used for uh, covering deck materials and so forth. But we have done something. We've elevated both of them, have planted rods into the ground, into the cement, went down 42 inches because we're in Minnesota and we don't want the frost and the uh, coldness of the ground to heave up and then uh, cause these to displace. I mentioned that we have revolving these poles, and as you can see, we can't revolve them. I've done that with both of these piece poles, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate uh, or give the instructions in terms of how we did that. Uh, we also, at the top of this piece pole, the tallest one, we have a solar light, so it will light in the evening and draw attention to it. We have our piece poles uh, beginning to surround our labyrinth here in our uh, church garden. We have uh, benches that people can sit on and meditate and contemplate themselves and the world about them. And we thought it was a perfect place for us to also place our peace poles so members of our community here in the greater Mankato area can also use it to focus in on uh, how to make peace in their hearts and bring it to the greater community and eventually to the world. As I mentioned before, our peace poles are standard acrylic. Many times what uh, persons will do is to sink that acrylic sleeve down into cement, maybe about a foot, and then this would be hollow. And uh, at other times, people will put the uh, four by four, for instance, or six by six pole, as they might uh, have purchased, uh, which is typically uh, rot proof types of wood and so forth, and put the sleeve around it before they sink it into the ground. Well, we've gone another route. I've also discovered that many people will have just the sleeve as the base for their peace pole. On our peace poles, because of the lack of availability at the current time to obtain the plaques that can be affixed to uh, a wood or acrylic pole, we uh, decided to go with the decals, and I prepped the decals on the peace poles on all four sides prior to uh, working on how we are going to mount this into the ground and make for the rotational part. I have a small piece of the acrylic right here. And as you can see, it would be hollow. And as I mentioned, you can buy them at your home store or lumber yard in your nearby area. And uh, these are pretty standard. Uh, the tops that are used on them can be also purchased at those stores uh, as either a standard type of top like this one to cap it or for about $30 you can get a uh, solar chargeable uh, light to add to it. I first 
went to the store and was trying to figure out, well, how can we make this a revolving piece of wood? I tried uh, or thought of using maybe some kind of a swivel like you might find in a Lazy Susan or in a chair that rotates. But with uh, my kids pulled, they would have too much of a leverage on them, could be broken, and uh, also would tend to uh, deteriorate the ball bearings and such. Uh, they would come loose and so forth in that. Uh, next I thought, well, we could put in a pole in the ground and then use couplers. Uh, there are plumbing, po uh, uh, plumbing uh, pipes that could be used, but what I decided to use was a conduit. It's a heavier, it's, it's stiff, but it's a lighter weight than, say, a plumbing pole. You might decide to use a plumbing pipe to uh, bury in the ground and then use standard pipe fittings on it to uh, get it to work, but because of the sizes I needed and so forth, I decided to go with a rigid type of conduit, uh, EMT, and it's got a thick wall it, that will prevent it from being bent easily. Uh, they come in 8, 10, 12 foot lengths. I got two 10 foot lengths and uh, we buried them in the ground, as I mentioned, 42 inches, and then poured the cement in, made sure they were level in all directions before we started to do anything. The key to uh, getting these poles to revolve is the addition of two what are called post connectors, which connects a typical 4x4 four four wood post to a, a, the ground or to a pole that's buried in cement such as this. These connectors have two parts. One is just a lift kind of box that goes up maybe an inch. It lifts the, the wooden pole off the ground to avoid it being uh, constantly in water and you know, a wet surface kind of area. You don't need that what you do need is the post connector portion and if you go to your home store you'll find that they have two long sides to it that go back a bottom part where there is a hole that's already stamped into the, to the uh, uh, item and then on the other two sides there is a very short maybe three quarter of an inch side to it. Now the thing to prepare those two, uh, those two post connectors that you're going to be using, one for the top, one for the bottom, is to take a hammer and just make sure that those leaves are bent towards the center a little bit. Not very much, just a little bit. That will make it easier to insert into the 4x4 sleeve itself. Make sure you also do that on the short sides uh, because if you don't, it also may have a tendency to uh, split the pole uh, because you're trying to open or, or uh, force that piece in there into the acrylic and uh, it's, it's got too much tension on it to, uh, so that it might split open that acrylic. Uh, I was lucky. I put it in there and it did not seem to be a problem. So what I did was, at the top, the actual insert went down the longer piece on two sides, going inside the pole first, and then went down about four inches. Uh, so it's recessed in here. At the bottom, likewise, the same thing and brought it up a certain a number of inches, three to four in this case. I had previously cut off these posts uh, at this height, a little higher than this. Uh, the height is up to you. Uh, we here in Minnesota get snow, and so I wanted them elevated above that somewhat. Did not want the acrylic to be in contact with ice so much. And uh, uh, so we decided to elevate something. 
if you don't like it that way, you can always add a small box around there, or, as I mentioned, cut it a little shorter. <coughs> Once you have those inserts in there, uh, I took the long piece of uh, remaining coal that was there. One end will have threads on it, and will have a connector with the pole that you purchased. These cost, the poles cost maybe 12 to 15 dollars. But it does have a connector that can be turned onto it and uh, would be used to uh, connect two of these poles, for instance, together. We will use that top uh, connector in our booth. We uh, come into the assembly last. So it will lie on top of that pole on the uh, post connector that we previously inserted. It will hold it, and the uh, piece pole itself will basically hang from that. At the bottom, we found we didn't need to have a, another connector on it. We would have to go through and cut new threads and so forth at that end, and then make some other cuts to uh, reassemble the thing. However, you could also use uh, pipe connectors, which you'd have to use with the EMT uh, conduit because of the outside diameter and so forth. But running that pole completely through the acrylic sleeve and through the two holes, one at each end, using one connector at the top end, you can then take your piece pole and begin to assemble it back to the pole that's still sticking out of the ground, what remains of the full pole. In our case, uh, because we had difficulty in finding a uh, proper size sleeve that would accommodate the three quarter inch uh, diameter, outside diameter, rigid conduit, what we decided to do is uh, use something like this. You can use either pipe or other size conduit that would fit over this and then hammer it together. Uh, you don't need the pole to uh, rotate. If you have actually the uh, uh, sleeve that rotates on that assembly. But you need to have a connector between the two poles. What I did was I cut about a four or five inch long piece of this PVC piping uh, which also had a thick wall. It fit perfectly, a snug fit, for uh, fitting around the uh, conduit. As I say, it doesn't matter if you use a metal or the acrylic. Just make sure that it is thick enough on the wall to be able to support it and not crack over time. What I did was, once I had those two, uh, the, the piece cut, uh, I hammered this on to force it onto the bottom piece of pipe that came out of the ground uh, for a couple of inches. And then taking the other, uh, the uh, actual piping that's within the sleeve, went to the top and using a block of wood on top of that connector up there, drove it into the other side of this piece of conduit. So far, it's working quite well. It has a little flex to it, but not so much that the wind is going to break it off or people are going to have to uh, put a lot of force against it to uh, try to break it off or bend it. Uh, in terms of rattle or you know, being sloppy on there, because the uh, post connector hole in the bottom of each of those two that we put in there are just barely uh, larger than the outside diameter of this conduit. We don't have all that much movement. So what you hear is just uh, a little bit of the uh, metal knocking against those post connectors, but they don't really move very much, maybe a quarter of an inch at the most. As far as uh, the, uh, anything else that uh, would be
considered in terms of putting together this type of a piece ball. I did use uh, some heavy duty construction adhesive to hold the two post plates somewhat in place, even though the force fit seems to do the job quite well. But I did surround them with uh, that heavy duty construction adhesive liquid nails, you might know the name, but also use that to affix solar lamp to it and the standard top to it. So I hope this has been helpful to you and that you get some ideas for uh, making your piece bowls a little different than the common ones that you run into. Uh, we thought that this would be good to have our revolving piece bowls so persons sitting on the benches or walking through the labyrinth look at the posts that are on here and focus on those as they're doing their meditation. Thank you so much and may peace prevail on earth.